Hey yogis, welcome back. I'm Sarah and today's yoga sequence is a flow dedicated to our upper back, neck and shoulders. So if you struggle with any stiffness or tension in these areas, this practice is perfect for you. For anyone who's new to my channel, I post yoga videos every week. So if there's anything you'd like me to cover, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. So without further ado, roll out your mat and let's begin. We're going to begin in a comfortable seat. Just so make your way sitting on your heels or sitting in a cross-legged seat, whatever's comfortable for you today. Beginning with some gentle neck rolls. Drop the right ear to the right shoulder and very gently begin to tilt the head down towards the chest, looking down towards your knees as you begin to roll the head, rolling back up, left ear resting towards the left shoulder, dropping back down, Drop the gaze, rolling towards the right. Maybe begin to close your eyes. Bring the awareness inwards. Rolling side to side, keeping it nice and gentle as you notice how both sides of the neck feel. And you're noticing any knots, any tension, any sticky bits. Just noticing what's going on. And then after your next one, the next time your right ear comes back towards the right shoulder, bring the head back to center, blink the eyes open. We're going to begin to draw the right hand across the body. Use your left arm as a guide to draw the right arm closer in. Begin to look over the right shoulder. Dropping the right shoulder down and breathing into that opening. Really lovely stretch. Feeling into the back of the shoulders, into the neck. And then gently, softly release. Move into the opposite side. Draw the left arm across the body. Use the right to guide it in a little bit closer. Drop the left shoulder. Begin to look towards the left. Just noticing how tight the left shoulder is from the right. Becoming aware which side of the body you hold your tension, you hold your stress. And then gently, softly release. We're going to make our way from here into child's pose very gently. Coming over, bringing the big toes to touch, sending the hips towards the heels. Walk the fingertips out as you begin to melt the forehead down towards the mat. Resting the hips down towards the heels. Not too worried if the hips are a good bit away. Just have that intention, the awareness that we're sending the hips down. Peel the fingertips forward. So you're coming high up onto the fingers. So the forearms are lifted away from the mat. And you feel a nice opening through the arms, into the armpits. Down into the shoulders. Down through the upper back. See if you can walk the fingertips even further forward. Finding more space with each breath. Lengthening through the spine. Keeping your breath soft. So you're inhaling through the nose. And exhaling through the nose. And gently rest the forearms down onto the mat. Look up towards your fingers. We're going to begin to rest the left hand over on top or to the side of the right hand. Resting the forehead back down towards the mat. Just working a little bit deeper to the outer edge of the left shoulder. Setting the breath into the left lung. Finding more space for the breath to flow. Inhale, coming back out of the pose, left towards the hands, walk over towards the opposite side. Right hand rests on top left, drop the forehead down towards the mat. Nestle back in, 
soften melts down. And coming back out, walk the hands, look towards the hands, coming back up. You want to keep the knees as wide as the mat. And then begin to walk the hands back in line under the shoulders. You're going to float through a few cat cows, but flowing with the legs as if they're in child's pose. So inhale, begin to drop the belly, loop the shoulder blades, look forward, open into cow. Exhale, begin to hug the lower belly in, round the spine, drop the gaze, coming into cat, feeling the shoulder blades as they pull, they draw away from each other. Inhale, drawing the shoulder blades back towards each other. You open your chest, you open your heart space forward, tailbone is lifted high. Exhale, rounding into cat. Inhale, opening into cow. Send the hips towards the heels. Rest back down into child's pose. Take a breath. Inhale, rise back up. Flowing to cat cow. Inhale, open forward, look forward. Exhale, rounding into cat, drop the gaze. Inhale, flowing through to cow. Exhale, rounding into cat. Send the hips towards the heels, rest the forehead, rest the forearms down. Last round, inhale, raising up, drop the belly, open into cow. Exhale, rounding true to cat pose. Inhale, opening true to cow. Exhale, rounding back true to cat. And inhale, come back to center. Bring the right hand, make sure it's in line under the shoulder. Inhale, we're gonna to begin to extend the arm up and overhead. Begin to loop, draw the arm towards the front of the room as you begin to spiral that arm around, reaching it up and overhead, beginning to draw circles with the arm. So we're really noticing, we're really feeling into the shoulder blade, bringing movement into the joint. Drawing circles, really extending, really reaching through the fingertips. So the next time the arm comes up, you begin to extend it a little bit higher. Twisting, opening, stacking shoulder blade on top of shoulder blade, opening up, breathing, finding space through the lungs. Begin to bring, rest the left hand down towards the sacrum or towards the right hip. Twisting, opening that shoulder a little bit higher, opening to the chest. Really deep opener for the shoulders. So if you feel this is too tight, you can continue with the arm extended high and just rest the fingertips onto the shoulder and work on drawing, opening the chest. So wherever you are, just work on opening. And then release the left hand down, moving into the opposite side, planting the left hand down a line onto the left shoulder and begin to loop that arm up, beginning to draw circles with the right arm. Feeling through each movement each sensation, noticing any knots, any tension. And then next time the right arm comes up, stack the shoulders, look up, drop the right hand, bringing it down onto the sacrum or down towards the left hip. Open the shoulders, look up towards the ceiling. See if you can draw the shoulder weight back. Take a breath and gently release the right hand back down. Sitting back towards the heels, resting back down into child's pose. And take a breath. Just notice the arms. Inhale, come back up. Making your way down into puppy pose. So we're going to come down onto the forearms, keeping the hips stacked high over the knees. Walk the hands out even forward and begin to melt the chest and the forehead down towards the mat. Really intense opening for the shoulders. 
breathing into the back body, sending the breath down to the spine. Beginning to look up towards the hands, making your way out of the pose, walk the hands back and towards the body. Lean back into normal tabletop, let make your way into our first down dog. Let's take a moment, check your alignment. So tuck your toes under. We want to keep our knees deeply bent. Walk the hands a little bit more forward, away from the shoulders. Tuck the toes under, lift the knees off the mat, send the hips towards the heels. Keep the knees deeply bent, grounding into both hands, pressing the weight through the body. Begin to float the body forward, coming through to plank, holding just for a breath, tailbone tucked under, grounding, building strength into the shoulders, into the arms. Drop down onto the knees and very softly, with as much control as possible, begin to lower chin, chest and then belly onto the mat. Coming down, lying on your mat. You can rest your forehead or resting down onto one ear. Just take a moment. And then coming back through, coming through to Cobra. So as you inhale, tuck the elbows in. Inhale, begin to lift. Chin, chest, forehead away from the mat. Exhale, soft, back down. Once again, inhaling into Cobra. Exhale, soften, taking a little bit deeper. Walk the fingertips out so the hands are in line under the elbows, clawing into the fingers so you're high up onto the tips of the fingers. Inhale, begin to use the arms as you come up. Tuck the pelvis under, lifting up into Cobra. And exhale, soften back down. Inhale, once again, lifting up. This time holding, tuck the pelvis under. Begin to drop the right shoulder down. So you'll feel this straight away, dropping to the right shoulder, looking towards the left elbow. Lovely opener. Feel this really deep into the right shoulder. Inhale, come back to your center, dropping into the left elbow, looking towards the right. Coming back to you, dropping the right shoulder, look over to the left elbow. Last one, Lakshmi center, drop the left shoulder, look to the right elbow. Coming back down, resting onto one ear, extend the arms long and just take a moment. And begin to abuse the hands to press yourself back up, bring back up out of the pose, bring the knees as wide as the mat, toes touching, send the hips, back down towards the heels, resting in child's pose. Finding your breath. And then walk the fingertips back, press yourself up, so we're coming to sitting on our heels. We're sitting high up on our heels from here. Just gonna begin to bring the hands back behind the body, interlace the fingers, roll the shoulder blades back, locking up, opening up. Just rolling back, finding more space, more length. Breathing into the chest and exhale, soften. Coming back into tabletop. We're gonna come into cow face pose from here. So there's a couple of variations, so I can show you both. So either you can come into the pose, if your hips are quite tight, just stay sitting on your heels or stay in a cross legged seat. If you wanna go into the full variation, start out in tabletop, bring the left knee into the center of the mat and bring the right leg around. So you're wrapping the leg, opening up the feet out of the corners of the mat and sit back. So you're stacking one knee on top of the other. You can come through either sitting high up on the heels and cross-legged seat or in the full variation of the pose. So then from here, with knees stacking over, inhale, reach the hands up and overhead. Exhale, drop the left hand down, begin to drop the right hand down, resting into the center of the back, down towards the spine. And we're gonna to begin to bring the left hand up 
So maybe you can take hold of either hand with your fingertips. Maybe take hold of the top. Just use something just to hold and open through the chest. Draw the rib cage in, opening the chest, opening the arms. Lovely pose for the shoulders. Deep into the chest, opening deeply. Also, we're bringing some work into our hips. So breathing into the pose, seeing if you can go deeper, if you can walk the fingertips further up. Breathing, using your breath to guide and open more. And gently come out of the pose, release the top arm, release the bottom arm and come back down. And from here, just extend the legs out in front of you just to take a moment, drop the knees side to side, just to bring some movement back into the hips before we move to the next side. So come over, legs step back, come back to the tabletop. This time we're going to come into the opposite side. So you want to bring the left leg over the right, open the feet out towards the side, sitting back through the legs. Like we do on the other side, Extend the arms up and overhead, re reaching, opening up. Draw the lower ribs in. Drop the left arm down the back. Bring the right hand back behind you. See if you can interlace the fingers, if you can begin to take hold. So maybe you're here with the fingertips gripping or you're taking hold of your top or you're just resting the arms down. Wherever you are, make sure the rib cage is tucking in so we're not extending, we're not opening up or we're holding drawing in, breathing with the pose, finding more space with each breath. I'm just going to be here for three more breaths. Let's see if you can maybe go a little bit deeper, a little bit further. And then begin to release the top arm, bring it down, release the bottom arm. Extend the legs out, bringing them out in front of you, dropping the knees side to side. Let go of any tension. And then coming into a cross legged seat or sitting on our heels once again. We're going to bring our hands out in front of us, coming into eagle arms. So your arms are bending at the elbows. We're going to begin to draw the right hand onto the left. Take hold of either the wrist or maybe place the palms together. If this is a little bit too much and it's too tight on the shoulders, bring the arms out, resting one arm on top of the other, taking hold of the shoulder blades. So whether you're here in full eagle arms or here, it doesn't matter when you're working with our own body. So moving through a bit of a flow as we inhale, begin to draw the arms up, draw the gaze up and exhale, begin to round the spine, drop the gaze. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, opening up. Such a wonderful pose, really, really works deep into the connective tissues, softening the muscles, melting any stress. Great for releasing any knots in the shoulder blades. One of my favorite poses to do when I have a lot of built up tension, and a lot of stress. And gently come back to center and release the hands. Moving into the opposite side, so working with the opposite arm. Draw the arms in front of you, right hand on the left. Either staying here or crossing the arms over each other. Wherever you are, inhale, draw the arms up. Exhale, folding back in. Inhale, reach the hands towards the ceiling. And exhale, fold. Inhale, reaching up, bring the gaze. Exhale, folding back down. Last one, this time hold it at the top, reach up. Holding it, soften the shoulders. And exhale, back to center. Soften the arms, shrug out the shoulder blades. And just notice how the shoulders, how everything feels right now. 
We're gonna make our way onto our backs. Walk the legs out in front of you and coming down, lying on your back, hugging the legs into the belly and just gently rock side to side. Let's just shake out the hips. And rest both feet down onto the mat. I'm just going to walk the feet as wide as the mat and just drop the legs towards the right. Bring the arms up into cactus. So you're bending at the elbows and begin to look over towards the left. Soften the shoulder blades down, soften the knees. Close the eyes and soften the gaze. If you want to make this twist a little bit deeper, you can bring the right foot and rest it on top of the left leg. It'll just help to draw the left leg down and open the hip even deeper. Soften the shoulder blades, resting down, melting any tension away, noticing the weight of the legs. Noticing the sensations up through the spine, into the shoulders, to the arms and the chest. And gently unwind, bring the legs back to center, bring the gaze back up into the top of the room and take a breath. And then when you're ready, drop the knees towards the left, bring the gaze over to the right. And maybe if you did on the opposite side, you wanna rest the left ankle on top of the right knee, just for a full body experience. That's when we're working on one part of our body. We don't wanna leave out the rest. It's always nice to twist at the end of our class. This really helps to release and rinse everything out. Soften the shoulders. Imagine the arms as heavy as they possibly could be. fingertips to curl. And then gently release the left leg. Bring the knees back to center. I'm just gonna extend the body long. So extend the legs long. I'm going to extend the arms off and overhead, coming into banana pose. So full body stretch, stretching through the arms, right through the body. So walk the feet over towards the right side of the room and begin to bring the upper body, keeping the hips as they are. As you bring the upper body over, you're coming into a C-shaped pose here. And just take a moment, take hold of the left wrist with the right hand. And just notice how this feels. Notice the shoulders, notice the armpit, the hips. If you feel you want to take it deeper, you could cross the left ankle over the right. Fully stretching out the body, working down to the connective tissue, down to the fascia, to the whole body. Right from the left toe up through to the left fingertip. One and gently unwind, walk the hands, walk the legs back to center. Bring over to the opposite side, so walk the legs towards the left. Bring the upper body over, take hold, the right wrist, left hand, 
Maybe cross the right ankle over the left. Opening up. Nestling in. And exhale, come back to center. And just allow it all to hang out. Extend the arms long, move into Shavasana. Extend the legs long, wide, allow the feet to flop open. Palms are facing up, shoulder blades are nestling under the body. Notice how everything feels. Thank yourself for coming to your class, thanking each other as we share our space. Namaste.